Hey everyone, welcome back. Here's a look at construction on the Broadway Subway Skytrain project in fall of 2022 in Vancouver, Canada. Starting off at VCC Clark, construction begins immediately at the end of the line. The closest column is now mostly up and curing. Part of the rail line has been closed temporarily to allow for a larger working area. This paved parking lot has also been partially closed off while three columns are built. I hadn't noticed until this trip, but the rails hang over the end of this siding, as if it's to be extended as part of the project. There's no extra column yet, but we'll check back next time to see if that's changed. More than half of the 21 columns are now complete and waiting for their crossheads. Pilings for the remaining columns are coming along nicely. The first couple of crossheads are starting to take shape on the west end of the elevated section. A crosshead sits on top of the column and will support the beams that the deck will eventually be built on. At the future Great Northern Way station, tunnel boring operations are now underway. The first TBM, now known as LC, launched on October 7th, 2022, and is making her way to Mount Pleasant Station currently. The second TBM, Phyllis, was almost ready to go when filmed, and launched a couple days later on November 29th. Launch dates were slightly delayed due to a five-week strike by local concrete workers this past summer. That delay also pushed back project completion from late 2025 to early 2026. Tunnel ring segments can be seen all over the site now, with even more staged just down the road. Since last time, both conveyor belt systems have now been fully installed and are operational. These belts will continue to be extended and eventually run the full 5 km length of the tunnels. On a good day, each TBM will be able to travel up to 18 meters. Each TBM will generate about 200,000 cubic meters of spoil over the 5 km journey. While crews at Mount Pleasant Station are eagerly awaiting the arrival of Elsie, progress continues on the station box. Main excavation is now complete, and a good part of the main floor has been built. Staring down into the 17 meter deep pit, you can see the channels where the TBMs will shuttle across the station box floor. Once they pass through, these will turn into the base of the guideways for the trains. The deeper parts in the center platform are the pits for the elevator shafts. As with all other stations on the network, these stations will be fully accessible. Here we can see just how much rebar goes into the floor before being encased in concrete. And on the west end of the station, the emergency exits have now had their concrete floors poured. Broadway City Hall has undergone a lot of change since the summer. One of the biggest challenges has been the relocation of water and sewer lines that run north-south on Canby Street. A new larger sewer line had to be built first before the old one could be decommissioned. This will allow for room to construct the escalators and elevator from the Canada Line southbound platform down to the Skytrain concourse platform. The area is riddled with temporary lines. Excavation is now fully underway for the box and station entrance. Shoring is being installed to help support the walls while crews dig deeper. Some of the temporary pathways that bridge over the pit shake a fair amount when vehicles drive by on the road deck. Equipment previously seen at Mount Pleasant has now been moved here to help with the excavation work. 
Excavation is also progressing well at Oak VGH. Talking with some workers on site, this station box will be even deeper at 23 meters versus the 18 in Mount Pleasant. That difference is mostly due to the slight hill that the station is on compared to the rest of the line. It'll still be a while before the TBMs pass through here. Plenty of time to dig down. While the tower over the future South Cranville station grows taller, the pit beneath the road deck keeps getting deeper. Crews have been welding more supporting structures in place to support the ongoing downward effort. Anchors are being drilled into the walls to stabilize them during excavation. A temporary sidewalk is starting to take shape on the north side of the street. This will hopefully provide a good viewing platform for passerbys. With the road deck finally fully installed and in use, major work is now underway at Arbuta Station. One of the final pieces of road decking to be installed is the north side connection at Cypress Street. In about a year, this is where the TBMs will be removed from the tunnel, just east of the station. Here you can see where the future bus loop and station entrance will eventually be on the north side of Broadway, with a direct connection to the Greenway, and maybe someday, a new Vancouver streetcar line. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates in the new year.